Okay. Uh, floss tube number two. Take a billion. Go. Okay. Uh, I don't know why it's taking me so many takes. Um, but probably because I'm a little nervous. Because there's over 250 subscribers now to my channel. And that's crazy. That is crazy awesome. Uh, I thought I was going to get maybe 30 subscribers. But nope, the numbers kept climbing and climbing and climbing and you know in my head I was like oh if I get 30 subscribers then when I get 100 subscribers I can do something special blew that out of the water okay and I'm like all right well maybe when we hit 200 I'll do something special. already at 250 so it's been really crazy um, my boyfriend has been very surprised with me and he's like you have to do another video like right now I'm like, okay, well, let me do some stitches first, jeez. Um, but it's it's really fun, and I love seeing all the comments and talking, you know, back with you guys and everything and meeting new people. Um, it's been a really fun time. I'm, I mean, it's only my second you, you floss tube, but I'm really enjoying it so far, even though I'm taking a thousand takes to say this. So if I seem a little scatterbrained, it's because I don't remember if I've said the thing that I wanted to say in this take or previous take. And my ADHD is going crazy right now. So I have a little note I'm gonna try to follow. And we're gonna we're gonna get through this together. Okay. So first is the just Thank you for subscribing once again. That's awesome. Love to see your comments. Uh, go ahead and, you know, more comments are fun. Questions, uh, suggestions, anything like that. That would be really cool. Uh, I want to thank an Aussie in a Kiwi world for mentioning me in her video. That was very nice of you. Uh, it was really, it was really nice to see like a, a notification on YouTube that was like, oh, someone mentioned you. I was like, oh, okay, cool. And I had to go and watch the video, of course, because, I mean, that's really cool. Um, and it's also cool because, you know, I'm in Michigan and they're in New Zealand, and that's like, I feel like the complete opposite side of the world, which is bonkers. Um, I do have my, my whip go chart here because uh, in my first video I did forget to mention it or I mentioned it but I forgot to show you guys it um so I can always take a picture and bam put it up here uh assuming it's up there I'm going to stay over here for a second so um I have only com I haven't even completed no I completed March so I completed March um so January, uh, six hours on the Stardew Valley map, and finish one planet. So I did finish the Earth, which was great. You saw it in the last video. Um, I only have like two hours on the map. I'll get to it. I'll get to it. It's fine. The rules state that once there's a... Um, my rules state anyway, once there's a... The, number, the number is drawn, it is open for crossing it out. Uh, so I still have time. I have all year. Uh, February was funny because it was 500 stitches on the Astrology Cat and 1,000 stitches on the Astrology Cat. And I'm like, oh, okay, I guess I'm doing the Astrology Cat. So that was fun. And then I was like, okay. March is going to be something different, and March was the same thing. 500 stitches on the pirates, and 1,000 stitches on the pirates. Um, I did complete that one, though, because I got stitching on it, and I couldn't stop, and it was really fun. Um, you'll also see that some of them on there said, like, finish one month worth. It's the bottles. Um, my temperature bottles, so... When that one gets pulled, I definitely want to try to do 30 bottles 
Um, so right now I'm just working on the shelving and just trying to get the shelves completed. Uh, I haven't worked on that one in the past two weeks. Oops. Um, yeah, so that was that. Um, I did fill in the number 13, the finished swatches, because I did finish those. I showed you in the last video, um, and that's generally the free spot, so I'm like, ah, I'm not going to wait till the number is drawn. I'll think of something else to do if 13 is drawn, whenever 13 is drawn. Um, so, speaking of finishing March, I will show you what I did on the Pirates. Sorry if you heard the door downstairs, it's very loud. All right, so I forget where you were or where we were last video. I think I remember. But I pretty much did all of this. Let me see if I can. There we go. It's looking so good. I am now 2.23% done, which is awesome. A lot of really dark blues in here and blacks or a black um but yeah so i did over a thousand five hundred stitches because i wasn't like doing the exact i i just worked on it a lot and i really like it and i can't wait to do more i wish i had all the time in the day to stitch on everything at once can't do that though that'd be ridiculous um so the astrology cat, I did r roughly 700 stitches on. So I did the 500 stitches and now I am working on my way to a thousand stitches for the with go board. This is what it looks like right now. I completed this area and I started to do all of these little stitches. Uh, I don't know if I want to fill in this area completely and then grid the rest of it or take it out and just start gridding the rest of it so I can get it over with. Either way, I don't want to grid this thing. <laughs> ah! But uh, the gridding is helping tremendously, especially with like all these little stitches that are everywhere and a couple of these colors are just one stitch. Oh, like one stitch way down here and then the next stitch is way up here and my back is looking redonkulous. Kind of cool. Uh, mostly redonkulous. Uh, hopefully it doesn't make it too thick. We'll see. We will live by trial and error. It's the one, one way I can learn. Okay. Um, so those are the things I've been working on that you've seen. I have two new starts. Oh my goodness. Hi. Cornbread came in. Uh, let me see if I can get him over here. Cornbread, come here. Come say hi. Please. Cornbread, are you hungry? No. Did you finally get enough food? He's just rubbing up on everything. Come here. Come here. <gasps> Come here. What a good boy. Let me move stuff for you. Hello. Come here. Oh, I know. You are a big boy. This is Cornbread. He is 17 and a half pounds. And he is a sweetheart. Mwah. He is my lover boy. He's such a good boy. Look at him. Look at him. He's usually not like super cuddly, but every so often he'll like to lay halfway on my chest, which I appreciate halfway because uh, he is heavy. Uh, but he's not like a fat cat. He's just a little chonky, but he's mostly just big. Just a big boy. Say hello. Oh, sorry gonna sit down oh we're begging for food that's what he likes to oh he might jump up on my shoulder and start rubbing his head all over mine yep hi 
oh hello this is what happens when I'm stitching and he's hungry and oh sorry I said the word again um, he just jumps up and starts rubbing his head rubs his head on my stand and everything's moving and it gets very confusing doesn't it okay well you're a good boy anyway back to my two starts uh, so the first one is from Etsy uh, Rebecca Leota it is definitely not a mimic it's just a normal cross stitch not a mimic don't worry about the mouth and the teeth right cornbread don't worry about the mouth and the teeth uh, this one I'm doing on I believe 14 count it is printed like a pink purpley blue splotchy fabric this is what I have done so far oh yeah he's very distracting so that's what I've done so far uh, I'm really excited to continue this one I had to frog a couple things because I put them like one or two stitches higher than they should have been Oops. Um, I also like fully kitted this one up because there was only a few colors so I was like ah, I'll just get some more colors makes it more fun uh, so this one's really easy to carry around and just kind of do. Uh, the only thing that's hard about it is the pattern is paper. So I have to highlight and make sure I have something to write on and everything like that. You are just... Yeah? Oh. Well, see, now I have to use this take. No matter how awkward it gets, I have to use this take because he's being so cute. He's being too cute for everyone. Okay. The second start I did, um, by Cornbread, is the one that I was showing in my last video, which is, bam, this one. It is, um, a Beach Comer's Bounty by Heaven and Earth Design. Uh, the artist is Amy Stewart. It's, it's really pretty. Um, you'll notice on, like, my other ones generally they're darker colors and sometimes you just don't feel like stitching on the dark you know, with dark colors and you want something bright and cheery and easy to see sometimes so um, I am doing that on 25 count uh, 90 colors I am 0.58% done and this is what it looks like Look at how pretty it is. You can see the starfish is starting to appear. It's super fun. I have put so many stitches into this one and I can't wait to continue to do it more and more. Um, it's going to be a lot of blue for a long time. So we'll see how sick of blue I get. Uh, hopefully it takes a while before it gets too sick of blue. Um, I have this one also halfway kitted up. Um, I got just one skein of the colors I needed and put them on these rings. Let me set this down for a second. So we have uh, the paper bobbins and I taped this part closed so that way it's a little bit stronger and punctured a hole here and here put the skein in the original hole. This is for the little guys. Put the number here, the hole to put it on the ring, and then the symbol on the back. I try to be organized. I'm not very organized unless it comes to like art supplies and craft supplies. And then suddenly I'm the most organized person that I know, which is very silly. That is okay. Now I'm just hoping Pigeon comes and comes to say hi. That would be so fun. You get to see both my cats. Um, uh, oh, I, wanted to, I wanted to show you this last video, but I forgot. Uh, this is for the pirates. I have this one completely kitted up. Um, I was very excited to start it, and it was essentially my first big cross stitch, my first 
I wouldn't say first full coverage. That would be the um, the flower one with the bad word on it. I would count that as full coverage anyway. It's, it's just smaller. Uh, I have this one. And what I did, similar to the uh, Beach Bounty one, wrote the number in two different places just in case something happened. I don't know why I wrote it in two different places, but we did. And then I put the... the the skein through the hole and then for example this one is eight two three so this one would have two skeins so then I just put the other skein in there and it's just waiting to be put onto the uh, the bobbin floss drop thing uh, this is the active color currently in that stitch so it goes on top and to hold its place so I know exactly where it goes really quickly I have a piece of foam. High tech. I know. We are living in the future. It works. So I, I have all of them in here. Uh, I figure once I complete a color, I'll just take whatever's left over, if anything. There's going to be stuff left over. What am I talking about? And I'll just put it into my main uh, full stash, just in its like bobbin. So that way, if, when I do another project and I need to kit it up, I can just grab one of the ones that are on the floss drops. Uh, I figured that would be the easiest way to do so. Um, as for haul, that would be for the uh, Beach Bounty, all these strings I got fairly recently. Um, well, actually, yeah, within the two week span it took me to do this video so that's haul um, I have been looking into getting um, like a large piece of black fabric for this guy Star Trek uh, it's from Etsy it's beautiful I love it I really want to start it um, I don't want to do 37 skeins of black stitches that seems like a lot. A lot, a lot. So even though I don't like gritting fabric because I tend to miscount and have to do it over, I do want to get a big plate piece of black fabric and then just grit it myself and then stitch the black stitches that are in the, the uh, frames of the, the glass, uh, but maybe not stitch all of them on the outside. I can just like do three stitch layer and then like fade it out or something if it's really noticeable. Um, I figure I can ask for that for my birthday, uh, the fabric, because uh, I think that would be like my birthday start because I, I love Star Trek. Um, I've seen all of Next Generation, all of uh, the original series. Uh, those are my two favorites. I've seen like bits and pieces of like the other ones. Uh, the new movies. I love the new movies. I thought they were really cool. Um, a really, a, a really cool way to just like reinvent, you know, a story that's already been told. I really hope they continue, you know, putting more out there and everything like that. Sorry, I'm just, I, face feels itchy. Um, but yes, I love Star Trek. I have a Star Trek tattoo. It's kind of hard to see because my arm twists. It is uh, Vulcan. Technically it's upside down uh, because it is right side up when I show it this way. Um, it is the word Kadith, which means what is, is. So it's kind of like my whatever happens, happens, go with the flow sort of tattoo. And I really hope to like put a half sleeve, or not half sleeve, full sleeve. Um, I want like spaceships up here. I want to do like the Enterprise, a NASA spaceship, um, Serenity from Firefly, something from Star Wars, um, probably like an X-Wing fighter, just like a little one. I like Star Wars. Um, it's okay. I mean, I guess I'm gonna get a lot of hate if I say it's just okay. I do like them a lot. The problem is I watched the first episode one in theaters and was like this is the coolest thing in the world I love the Jedi it's so colorful 
yes, and uh, immediately went out, rented four, five, and six, watched them, and went, Where are the Jedi's? Why is there a Muppet? I am confusion. So, I still don't quite understand the order of events because everything is mixed up. So one of these days, I will get one of my friends and we can sit down and watch all of Star Wars. If obviously not in one sitting. That would be ridiculous. Um, but just to, to get the thing. Because I love space. Anything to do with space. Um, maybe I'll try to... But yeah, just different ships. I think that would be really cool. With like space behind it. Purples and blues and pinks and everything like that. Um, let's see. What was I talking about? Who knows? Uh, yeah. I, I'm gonna add the fabric to my birthday list. Um, cause it's, it's not coming up, but it is coming up. It's in, it's the end of May. Um, but I figure if I put it on my birthday list now, I won't forget it. And that will give the people plenty of time to get it if they want to get that for me or whatnot. Oh, sorry. Oh, my leg's falling asleep. Um, I think, I think that's all I have for you for this time. Um, like I said, I thought, you know, I was going to take like a month to do this video, uh, but I got really excited. I wanted to do it. So I did. Uh, so I only have like two weeks worth of stuff to show so I guess it's not too terribly much um I'm really hoping that the sound is okay that the video wasn't going inside it you know focusing weird uh like my old phone so if this one works then um definitely gonna just stick with my current phone I'll just have to turn notifications off which I have done because uh I already saw a few notifications and we don't need to hear my text tones and the bzz bzz of the phone going off every so often. Because <laughs> uh, I feel like that would be loud and annoying. Um, yeah, that's, I think that's all I have. I uh, thank you again for subscribing. Thank you again for um, commenting. I, I love seeing the comments, so please, you know, questions, um, tips, tricks, ideas, whatever, uh, feel free to just put them in there. Uh, I do read all of them. Uh, I don't know if I re-commented on everything, but I tried to, like, give them all a little heart. Mainly for me to show that I've seen this comment, because the I don't think YouTube puts them in order from, like, oldest to the newest. They are kind of sporadically thrown in there. Like I scrolled down and there was new um, comments that I hadn't seen, but I knew that I've seen the ones around it and it was very confusing. I'll get used to it. Um, I do want to try to, at some point in time in the future, when I can figure this out, I would love to do stitch with me's. So just record me just stitching. And hopefully you can see, like, my stitches. Uh, so, like, you know, have the camera right here. Um, and just hang out. Uh, talk about whatever. Um, be it YouTube Live, Twitch, or just me recording it and just uploading a stitch with me. So that way you can put on something and stitch. Because um, I find those very fun. Uh... Because it's like, you know, you, you feel like you're stitching with someone, uh, even though you're not technically there with them and can't fully communicate with them. Which is a little unfortunate, but what can you do? Um, sorry, I'm just racking my brain to make sure, like, I didn't forget anything. I showed you the WIPGO board. I worked on two things, three, four things, technically, because two new starts... Um, yeah, okay, I think that is. So, thank you so much for watching. If you've watched this whole thing, awesome, you're cool. 
Um, if you didn't, well, you wouldn't see this, but you're still cool. Uh, yeah, I'm awkward sometimes. Sorry that Pigeon didn't come see you. That's a little unfortunate. She's, she's usually my cuddle bug. She'll come in and sit on my lap every so often, uh, especially when I'm stitching, and she'll demand all the pets. Uh, where Cornbread will pet me, as you saw, with his head, which is super cute, and I love it so much. Um, not when I have a needle and I'm, like, bringing it towards my face area. That's not as cute. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, maybe next time Pigeon will make an appearance. Uh, so have... A fantastic night um, or day morning whatever time it is when you watch it uh, I hope you are having a great time uh, hopefully you had something warm to drink or cold to drink depending on where you are um, and I just thank you again I don't know how I can say thank you enough it's really cool uh, I'm really enjoying this so far even though it's only been my second one and yeah all right uh oh where'd my pen go i found it now i can stop the video goodbye